Well, it's official. Master Chief is in Fortnite, but there's so much more to it, and what does it mean for Halo Infinite? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to the Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content like this, and make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the content here. So we had some leaks about Master Chief being in Fortnite, and I reported those on this channel as well, just to kind of let people know what's going on with Halo. And last night at the Game Awards, it became official. Master Chief is in Fortnite, and not just Master Chief, the Halo Infinite version of Master Chief, which honestly, in my opinion, is the best looking Master Chief that's ever been created. I will say I love the fish's reaction when he sees Master Chief. That's kind of what my reaction was when I first saw the Halo Infinite announcement trailer whenever you saw the Master Chief's helmet kick in. Uh oh! That, I had that same reaction, so he's very, that fish man's very relatable. And from what I've heard, now I'm not a Fortnite player, I'm a Halo player, but from what I've heard that uh, Master Chief and his bundle cost $20, so you can buy him individually as well using V-Bucks. It comes with like a little mini Warthog Master Chief himself, obviously, with also a matte black finish version as well, which is pretty cool. Gravity hammer so you can chop down those trees, and also a pelican for your parachute, which it kind of soars in, and it's a pretty cool way to look at it, which... You know, they did a great job, honestly, with Master Chief. Like, with Fortnite's art style being so stylized and kind of, you know, less intricate, I was wondering how Master Chief would translate in Fortnite's engine. And honestly, it looks pretty freaking awesome, not gonna lie. But that's not it. There actually is now a limited time mode where you can play Blood Gulch CTF in Fortnite. They announced that with this awesome Red vs. Blue and Ninja intro trailer thing that we're talking about it. It's awesome. You know, it's a pretty funny skit that they put together real quick just to kind of, you know, bring back the memories and the hype of Halo and Blood Gulch coming over to Fortnite. I love the line from Griff where he says this. We're Sergeant Griff from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. You probably watched it about 10 years ago. Yeah, I think that's kind of accurate with most of the people when it comes to red versus blue. Like, yeah, we loved it. Like, probably watched it a ton like 10 years ago, but not right now. Not a lot of people are watching it. Unless it's your first time watching red versus blue, then, you know, it's an awesome series. They've really evolved it since the original, you know, Blood Gulch days. So how does this limited time mode play out in Fortnite? Is it actually like Halo in Fortnite? Or is it kind of like Fortnite's version of playing like on a map that's similar to Blood Gulch? Well, let's get right into it here. So the map itself is like a rough blueprint, I feel, of Blood Gulch. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one recreation, which is a little disappointing on my end. It looks like they use the bases from Basin from Halo 5's Forge version of the somewhat like version of Blood Gulch. They added in some extra geometry and some cover in there, probably just so they probably might play out better with Fortnite's style of gameplay. Uh, you get kind of like the rough feel of kind of what Blood Gulch is, but it's not exactly a one-to-one -one recreation. I've seen better recreations of Blood Gulch in Halo 5's Forge, which just say that. The cool thing is, is that there is no building in this mode either, so it's just straight gun-on-gun -gun gameplay. So this actually might bring me into play this game, mode, which I think probably our next video will probably be doing a nice little playthrough of what Blood Gulch, the LTM mode, plays in Fortnite. There are also weapon spawns as well, much like you would see in Halo, and there's some teleporters as well, and there's actually no minimap, which is surprising. You only get a chance to see like your teammates and that's about it. You do get like this little reticle kind of haze thing kind of showing up on your character, kind of showing that someone's looking at you, but that's about it. But from what I've seen when it comes to gameplay, it seems like it's like a rough estimate of what Blood Ghost CTF would be like in Fortnite. Uh, I don't think it does a great job of recapturing the same feeling, I would say, uh, though I do have to get my hands on it personally, but from what I've seen and what I've heard that it's a, uh, I mean, it's it's like it's like Halo, which I feel like kind of makes it so that it just kind of reiterates that like no other game plays like Halo. Like there's Halo's a one of a kind game. You can't find it anywhere else. I mean, there's been trying, there's been other people trying to replicate it, but it just hasn't had the same kind of feeling because Halo just is such a amazing shooter. It has such a unique style to it that no other game can really replicate it properly without just directly stealing it. Now there has been some backlash from the community and that's understandable. Uh, Fortnite does kind of have this connotation to it that you know a lot of people feel like it's rather cringy or made for kids or just you know not like a true gamers game kind of thing. I've even seen people on Twitter said that they've lost respect for Halo because they put Master Chief in Fortnite. My take on it is that this is only a good thing. 
more people get a chance to interact with Halo content is better for Halo. And being able to put Halo content within Fortnite, I think it's just an amazing opportunity for Halo to expand as a franchise and get more people interested in the franchise as a whole. Though it does kind of sting a little bit that Fortnite players get to play with Halo Infinite's Master Chief before actual Halo players. But that's just kind of how it is right now. It's, that's about it, you know? <laughs> This also does make me think about how this is play into Halo Infinite. Um, this might be like a planned promotion that was going to happen anyways if Halo Infinite released in the fall of 2020 or not. So it could be one of those things or it could be just a new thing they decided to create. You know, the Fortnite team over at Epic does do a great job of turning out a lot of content pretty quickly. This just makes me think of two things when I see this. I think of, you know, why would they put Halo content into Fortnite? Well, I would just have to think that they're probably look, working on some form of a battle royale in Halo Infinite. That's my tinfoil hat speculation right there, but I just feel like if you're going to put Halo content in games, what games would you do it to have the best return for your franchise? And I think you would do Fortnite for one, for its popularity, obviously, but also two, because it's a battle royale game and you know battle royale is like the hot new mode right now it's not a trend it's here to stay people love battle royale and i think halo could make an awesome battle royale but we've made previous videos on that if you want to check those out you know check out the channel here some more tinfoil hat conspiracy for me i feel like if you're gonna recreate blood gulch in fortnite that would have to be the iconic map from halo right that's kind of where halo's multiplayer really started was on that map. We do know that Halo Infinite is drawing strong influence from Combat Evolved when it comes to ex exploration and feeling of the game just in general. And it's a soft reboot of the game and it's the most popular map probably ever created within Halo. I mean, it's like that and the pit, midship, and like maybe Sanctuary are like some of the most iconic maps ever made in a Halo franchise. So it makes me think if Fortnite's putting Blood Gulch in their game, why wouldn't Halo Infinite do the same? And Blood Gulch is the most recreated map in the Halo franchise as a whole, right? Because you had it in Combat Evolved, you had it in Halo 2. You had the spiritual remake of Valhalla within Halo 3. Then also in Halo Reach, you had it recreated in Forge World. And in Halo 4, you had Ragnarok come back in there as well. But even if Blood Gulch isn't like the best map ever created in Halo, it's the most iconic map. It is the map when people think of Halo they think of Blood Gulch. So I would be awfully surprised if Blood Gulch does not make a return in Halo Infinite. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your guys' thoughts of Master Chief and Halo content being in Fortnite. I think it's a great thing, but I know it could be a rather polarizing idea as well. A huge shout out to K-Dog and Karate Girl helping me with supply some gameplay because I don't have Fortnite installed and it just wouldn't make sense monetarily for me to go out and buy the Master Chief skin because I don't really like playing Fortnite. So I really do appreciate you guys' support on this video. And Karate girls crew of rated r k9 store 1545 and rad go on ssj2 because trust me you don't want to watch me play fortnite let the actual fortnite players get some good gameplay so you guys can get something entertaining to watch for me it would be fumbling over controls the entire time if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content for me check out the videos on the screen right over here I've got a link to all my news and informational videos we've been out of the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out